Look at this! We have spawned another nine legendary. Let's go! We're back here in the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today we're gonna be doing a wild yak grind guide. Today I'm gonna share with you everywhere where you will find yak drinking in Sundar Patan, how to set up for the grind, and I'm actually only using four tents, and I just thought that this is actually a really, really fun grind. Probably the most fun I've had grinding for any species in the game. This is really, really fun, and it can be done alongside doing the great one tar grind because you don't have to use a lot of tents to do it so today i'm going to share with you everything you need to know in order to set up and do the wild yak grind now guys let me know in the comments what your best yak kill has been so far and somewhere in the video i am going to share a key phrase drop that in the comments for your chance to be featured in a video and if you are on console then it would be a voice chat also featured in a video and we're going to start by shooting this nine legendary so basically the only place you're going to find wild yak on the map is in the top half. Later in the video, I will share a hotspot map with you, showing you everywhere you will find them. Now, yak drink from 8 to 12, so usually I set the time for about 9.30. You can set it for earlier than that, but that has been working great for me. Now, I do have my tent right here. This lake is absolutely amazing for yak, so my tent and tripod are right here. I can actually shoot down at this zone. They're about 300 meters out, and the yak on this side will not spook, so that is very handy. So in this grind, I am only shooting the level sixes and up. That is definitely going to help me to spawn more diamonds. And what I would really love out of this grind are the rares. Albino, leucistic, and gold are the three rares for wild yak. And I would love all of them, but especially an albino. Okay, so let's shoot this zone. Now I'm not only shooting two per zone, I'm shooting as many as I can. We're not doing any herd management, we're not doing any stacking, we're just shooting the big ones. That's it. And they are super duper aggressive animals, so that is part of what makes this grind so much fun. Now while I am setting up for the yak grind, this is my loadout. I carry only one weapon with me, and that is the Arzena 300 AR, and you will find that in the high caliber weapon pack. And that is actually my favorite weapon in the game. It's awesome. Awesome. So I have all my ammo. I just used the Hyperion scope. No collars. You definitely want a first aid kit because it's going to keep you alive. You are going to <laughs> definitely shed some blood. They are going to come after you. They are super duper aggressive. Health kit is absolutely necessary. Now you don't need the Gen Zeros, but you definitely need the Apex View binoculars. And then I have tents and tripods. Now once you're set up, you're not going to need tents, so you can take that out of there. So I think I'm actually going to add to my loadout the Rhino 4 54, the Sunberg. There it is there. It's only two kilograms and that is great as a defensive weapon. But of course, you're also then going to need the handgun scope. Now that has to be unlocked as a new player. It's non-DLC, so just use the Rhino or the Sunberg as much as you can and eventually you will unlock the handgun scope. And I do have the ammo with me as well. Now you could also use a bow with 600 grains as a defensive weapon. Why don't we grab one? You know which bow I've been really enjoying lately? That would be the crossbow. So let's load that out. So you can either carry tents and the 300, or you can get rid of the tent and carry a couple of defensive weapons, being the crossbow or any bow and the 454 Rhino. So if you are going to use the crossbow, it does have its own scope. So make sure you load that out. And they use the 600 grain bolts. And there they are. Okay, so now we have the 300, the 454, and the crossbow. And first aid kit, ready to go. So the only three tents I am using is right here, this one right right here, and well, I guess I am using four. We're using four tents, but you could just put one tent right in the middle here and go to all three of these lakes. So you could use three, but I am using four. I did set up on this lake and you will have yak here unless you blow your zones out. I blew my zones out and look at this. The yak just will not come back. I no longer have yak at this lake, but this is an amazing lake to set up on, but definitely shoot from the tripod because if you blow your zones out, your lake could end up looking like mine. And that is not what you want. So until I need that tent for the tar grind, I'm gonna leave it just so I can continue to check that lake because maybe if we blow out a zone on a different lake, maybe they will eventually come back there. But I have one tent right here. Let's check out this location. Okay, so I just came out of the tent. 
basically, this is what I can see from here. So we're gonna get closer, but I'm finding that the nine legendaries are spawning pretty quickly by shooting the level sixes and up. Now you are gonna get an insane amount of trolls because wild yak are terrible for trolling. They're right up there with feral goats and reindeer. Okay, holy. Okay, so I think what's happened here is the yak that were on this lake have migrated and are now at this lake because this seems like an insane amount of yak. <laughs> All right, so we have an eight, goes up to 249. We have a nice seven there. We have a six, not gonna shoot the five. Okay, so there are some nice ones in there. Okay, so they're 259 meters. Let's see if we can get eyes on the herd that's in this zone. They are tough to see. Okay, so let's throw a tripod down if we can. Now rocks are a good spot to put tripods, but putting tents and tripods down in the north of this map is not easy. <laughs> As you can see, oh my gosh, I don't know if I can put a tripod down. No, it's not looking good for us. Come on. No, it's not gonna let us. Okay, so they know I'm here. Well, maybe if we blow these zones out, they'll go back to the top left leg. We're not gonna worry about it. There is an insane amount of yak here. It's kind of shocking. I'm just not gonna worry about the tripod. I'm gonna shoot at this zone and the yak at the bottom zone. Good chance that they will run into view for us and we can start shooting at them too. Here we go. So basically when I wanna take three, I get a visual on the three that I'm gonna shoot. So I look, I'm gonna shoot this guy, then I'm gonna shoot this guy, then I'm gonna go for the eight mythical. Here we go. One, two, we'll take, oh, actually, there's the eight. Don't know if that was good, so we will give him another one. And there's another seven. I'll try and take him. And time to reload. And they are still running. Take as many as you can. Just make sure they're level six and up. Okay, think we got four? <laughs> Definitely three for sure. The zone is still here, but... Oh, here we go. We're getting some company. Okay, so we're gonna pull out the rhino. Pop the scope off. Oh, it's a female. Well, if they're coming after you, that's the one time it's okay to shoot females. I think I got her. Did I? No. But always make sure to lead the shot when you're getting attacked. And then we do a little dance. And she's gonna go splat. And $862 for a female. And the zone has been blown. I, I just couldn't put a tripod down. I tried. Anyway, it'll be interesting to see if they're gonna move up to the top left lake now. And maybe this lake will be empty then. I don't know. Okay, I just picked up a seven. Thought I was recording, but I wasn't. But here is our next one. Another level seven, 234. So that's two. Okay, so this one ran pretty far. So I don't think we got a vital here, but it did die and we did not. We got stomach on a level eight mythical, 238. But he still went splat, so we're getting a respawn. So guys, if you are unable to put a tripod down, you might want to just take three down so you don't blow out your zone. And I think the last one we did not get a good shot on either, and I don't think I'm going to bother tracking him because he is going to run for a very, very long way. So in the interest of time, we're going to move on. Okay, so now we're going to go down here. Now, I do have this tent right on the lake. So what's going to happen is I'm going to fast travel here and the yak are going to be right in front of me. So it's going to immediately be showtime. So I'm going to run as fast as I can can into the tripod and then I'm gonna start shooting the high level yak. Here we go. This is really fun, but you definitely want to be reloaded <laughs> like I'm not. They're not right in front of me. Very unusual. Where are you going? Where are you going? What do we got? Oh, nine legendary. Let's shoot it. I can't believe the nines that are spawning. It's insane. Okay, I'm getting into the tripod. That's him right there. And they're glitching. That should be good. Take a seven. Take another seven. Where's the nine? Did we get him? I hope we did. Oh, he went splat. <laughs> okay, let's go see what happened. That's quite a bit of hunting pressure, especially since that is from a tripod. So the bloodhound is very handy, not only for tracking down your kills, but also because if you do have your bloodhound programmed this way, it will warn you of aggressive predators and he will bark before you get attacked. And that is definitely very helpful. How you doing, my dude? That is a seven, 246. I think this is the nine. He looks like a big one, is he? It is, oh, it's a diamond. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, that is incredible. Holy, that's actually our second diamond yak. So now I am three trolls and two diamonds. That is amazing. Look at that, $1,637, not bad. So he's a 274.12, he's about 0.9 above diamond and that is amazing. And there's the shot, beautiful. We're gonna taxi that and he is a dark red. Very, very, very cool. Yes, so this is where we were. When we spawn that nine legendary, that's the zone. And I think we have one, one or two more. Okay, here is our third yak, level seven. And first shot was good. Unfortunately, I then shot him in the brain. <laughs> I guess the jaw and the skull. So I ruined it, but we're getting a respawn, so that's what matters. Okay, so I think we just got the three there. So now we're gonna head down here. So they don't know I'm here yet, but they will figure it out very quickly. So we're gonna get our behind into the tripod ASAP. Have a quick peek. There's an eight, another seven, and a seven. Okay, it's showtime. That is a big eight. He is nice. All right, we'll start with that one. He's gonna turn for us like a good man. I don't think I got that one, but... Oh, that was the one we already shot. I think it would be very helpful to carry the 300 Magnum with me. I think I'm going to change my loadout because once I get through these five shots, it is a huge waste of time to reload and they just disappear in that time. I don't really need tripods right now. If I do, I will go and get them. I think another weapon would be far more useful. So we're going to grab 300 Magnum because there is only one variation of the Arzina, so I can only carry one of them. Let's go see how we did. Okay, we have an 8 Mythical, 259. Another eight mythical, 261. What else, dog? What else? What else? I think we may have just got the two there and that's totally all right. Now, you can also go to these two lakes and you don't even need a tent. You can just start right at Sherpa Gone Outpost and run south. Let's do that right now. Okay, so the first lake is 500 meters from the outpost, so that's not too bad at all. So we're just gonna run over there, it won't take very long. And the lake is completely surrounded by trees, you cannot see it. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna run in, spook them out, and shoot them on the fly. Okay, so what I did was I ran down kind of along the path, and I'm gonna come in this way. I know there's gonna be a zone right on the end. Now I did blow it out, so hopefully they're gonna be there. And of course, we can't see a thing. Now I can see a little bit on this side. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get as close as I can and then I'm gonna start running. I don't mind spooking them out, but you don't wanna spook them out so soon that they're gone and you don't get to spot them. So here we go. I don't even know if they're there. It's actually looking like they're not. I'm gonna take some elevation here. Now, because of the changes with the last update, you can drop a tent literally right on their zone and then walk right into the herd if you want to. It is a lot of fun. They're not here, I think. When you blow their zone out, man, it could be hard to get them back. Interesting. We may have an insane amount of yaks at this lake right now. All right, let's head over there and see what's going on. So yes, yeah, so I have set up both ways on this grind to show you both. So over here, I am shooting from a distance and over here, I am running right into their zone. Now, the last time I was at this zone, I spotted a nine legendary and we haven't got them yet. So that is what we're after. Okay, where are, oh, there we go. All I see right now are females. So we're gonna crouch and try and get a better look. Okay, there's an eight mythical. He's still calm. I'm not seeing a nine though. There's a seven. Okay, I think we're gonna start shooting. There may be more in this corner up here, but I just can't see them. Okay. It is showtime. All right, here we go. And he turns. So make sure to lead the shot when they're running. Okay, we got two. And I think I have some company. Now I'm gonna grab the bow. Ooh, we're gonna use the bow. Nope. <laughs> She's out of here. I don't really want to shoot a female anyway, so that's totally all right. But it is smart to reload right away. And these colors on my 300, those are from the Sundar Patan skins. Not the free ones, but the pack, and they're pretty cool. You should check them out. I really like them. Well, I don't know where the nine was, but we did take two. Really nice seven. 
Too many shots, but that's all right. We're getting a respawn. And eight mythical, 244. Okay, let's see, now that we've blown this zone out, if they are actually going to be at the top left lake. And they are still not here. Absolutely nothing. It's very interesting. So I wonder what's gonna happen here. Are they gonna give me my zones back? I guess we will find out. So basically I am just rotating on this zone, running to these two lakes, hitting this lake, and these three lakes here, and that's it. So currently I am using four tents, but you can condense and just use one tent here. And you can do this with three, which is not a lot of tents. I think if you do a few rotations, it probably won't take you too long to get a diamond. Now getting a rare, that is going to take more work for sure. And that is what we're after. So we're going to keep grinding, but let's have a look at that hotspot map. Okay, this is everywhere where you will find Yak drinking from 8 to 12. Now, you may not have Yak at every single one of these spots, but you will have them at most of them. And I have circled the areas where I have set up to grind, but you can grind on any of these lakes. And for more videos just like this, hit the subscribe button. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm going to recommend that you watch this video next.